It's a lovely Saturday afternoon. It's a little bit wet, but the sun's out, so that's okay. I've got my raincoat, it's all good. Um, today, I'm gonna get these raspberries out the ground. Just enough so I can get my cold frame that I built last weekend. Sorry I didn't show you that. Um, there was a lot of colourful language used uh, in the making of the cold frame, so not really appropriate for YouTube. Um, yeah, so I know I've been saying it for the last three videos, I'm going to move the raspberries, but I'm going to move the raspberries today, I promise. Uh, but I'm just going to give the beds a little hoe, um, just uh, up the, the perennials, native wildflowers that have come up. And I'm um, going to do that first and then, um, yeah, we'll get some action going. Let's do it. Like I said, no fair weather gardeners here. Tell you what though, for only turning the soil over and bearing the grass, um, very little weeds, very little weeds, which is, which is a good thing. Oh, I said weeds, native wildflower perennials, native perennials. Um, okay, cool, uh, let's do these raspberries. I think it's stopped raining enough now so I can bring the camera out. Let's do that. Please ignore the quality of my shed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can't complain. I inherited it. So, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna have a tidy up here, and then um, yeah, let's cut these. Let's cut. I'm just gonna cut a section of this down, just to the ground. Um, by the looks of things, we've got growth on um, the first year's growth. So, I think these are some of a uh, fruiting variety of raspberry. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to take a section out, not all of it, um, and I'm going to use these um, as a windbreaker on the, basically, the most exposed side of my plot on the beds, just so that I'll let these grow out, bush out, and then that way, when they grow out, then um, they'll, uh, they'll protect my, my veg and my, my flowers from uh, well, the harsh winds. That's the plan. Probably won't happen, but that's the plan. It's always good to have a plan. having an outfit change. No. Just disturbed a little ant colony. Look at the patterns that they've drawn into the into the soil. Can you see that? It's so clever. And I've just wrecked it just within seconds. Sorry guys, my bad. There's the other half of their colony, the little metropolis that they built. God, us people, we're so destructive. I feel like I'm immune to nettle sticks now. It's just such a, just a badge of honour to have the bubble stingies. Bubble stingies, that's what I called it when I was growing up. So many names for so many names for the same thing, depending on where you are. That is a big one. Look at that. Nice strong bit of bit of growth. A couple years old, probably three years old. Two or three years old, but it seems to struggle compared to some of the smaller stems. And me doing this shouldn't upset the plant too much. If anything, um, it's not focusing its energy on new growth now, so it can't, because obviously I've cut it off. So that will just help the root stock and it will put more effort into its roots, which is what you want with a plant with healthy roots. Oh, don't stand on what you cut, Charlie. 
Get rid of these weeds. Stop saying weeds. Perennial wildflowers. <laughs> and grass. I was going to show you guys um, how I look after my tools and like a bit of tool care. Because uh, the scarf I break, these nut, these bolts on the side, if they come loose, then these go a bit. So it's got to have a bit of give to it because when you rake it back and forth you're supposed to be able to move to drag it and it's very smart um, but these are quite loose so I need to tighten them up and I was going to show you how I sharpened my hori hori and my axe and my second tears but for some reason I just did it the other day just idly not thinking um, that would be good to show but I'll, I'll need to sharpen them again so I've got a little a little, uh, what it is, it's like a little sharpening stone with some oil, and um, just give it a little small circles, just a little rub along the the, um, the curved end of the blade or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's always uh, fun to do. I'm no expert. I think I just watch someone do it once, and I just do it until I sharpen it until I can feel the edge with my thumb. Nothing razor, nothing like razor blade sharp, but sharp enough to do what I do. I'll show you that sometime, if you like. Don't have to. Maybe I dig the raspberries up first. That'll make my raking easier. What do you think? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. There we go. First one. Lots of fine roots on there. I reckon. That might grow, maybe. <laughs> like I said, I'm gonna be brave with these. Neutral. Try not to be so delicate because the more delicate you are, the longer you take to do stuff. And even though it's not about rushing, I still want to get jobs done. So, yeah. healthy root system, got a stem with a node, with a couple nodes. So, I think this, is, this, will, this will be viable. Big pile of these. I should have dug them up before I cut them because I can't find them now. <laughs> Just um, what are you? If in doubt, you've got to give it to nettles they know how to survive they know how to live they're the perfect perfect example of successful plants it just roots so easily and it sends these runners and you can find massive networks of nettle roots oh, there's some little baby centipedes in here that I've upset Sorry fella, you can live in my compost. Aphrodite. 
don't know if these raspberries are self-pollinating or they've got both male and female flowers on the same stem. Ooh, be interesting to find out. If anyone could save me the work and just tell me, that'd be great. Oh, you beauty. He says as he just chucks it aside. Yeah, so look. All of that looks like the first year's growth. So it grew this much last year, possibly. Um, and, um, and this is where the fruit will come. Very impressive. Good little plant, man. Chuck it over there. Get out of here. I'll find him a new home soon. Any more? I don't mind nettles. Um, a lot of, well, there's a fair few uh, species of butterfly and moth that like to lay their eggs on nettle. So, uh, I'm all about wildlife, so uh, I don't mind it. it doesn't, I don't think it looks untidy. I think it's a bit of a badge of honour to have um, singing nettle in um, in your soil. So wherever you've got singing nettle means you've got good soil, as far as I'm concerned. So, as long as it doesn't impede underneath where I put my cold frame, it can just do what it's like. I'll get rid of this grass, and this remaining raspberries that are here, um, just to give it a little bit less competition for nutrients and water. Um, yeah, the nettle can stay. I'm not bothered about that. Oh, no, nice. <laughs> just trying to level out this area. Um, and I'm just going to step it down. And do you know what? I might use these bricks as a uh, as the foundation for the cold frame. But I want to try and make it as any slugs and snails can come up through the soil, be like a little dig, I'm trying to keep them out of the cold frame. So if I do use these bricks as a foundation, I need to make sure they're pretty tightly packed together. We'll give it a go. We'll see. But I'm just going to level this out. I'm going to stamp it down just to firm it. Um, so I'm just making this up as I go along. This is so not level. <laughs> Was it level? I haven't got a level. Just have to level it out with my very wonky shed. That doesn't look bad, does it? Hmm. Actually, that's pretty spot on. Oh, I like that. I got a cold frame. Um, and then I suppose for the gaps underneath in the edge. I can just break it up. Shall I do that? Yeah. See? Okay. Let me show you inside. So I've got these little flappy bits. Ooh. I've got a little latch. Material out of this kind of rubber. Oh, I haven't tightened the bolts. And they're only finger tight at the moment. I forgot. We'll leave it out. Yeah, it'll be fine. Just have to remember next time to bring a ratchet so I can tighten them. Okay, that's next time. Anyway. I think 
think I followed all the instructions. Ooh. Ah. And then I've got this thing. Um. <laughs> Look at that. Is there another one on this side? Yes, there is. Look at that. I'm going to air it out. Additional shelving there. Oh, fabulous. Dead posh, isn't it? Not cheap though. Oh, it cost me a fair bit. So in my hair. Um, okay, filling in the gaps. Filling in the gaps. Filling in the gaps. Filling in the gaps. Um, I don't know. I don't know, you know. I just use the soil. I haven't really got anything proper. Yeah. That's all we'll do. Make sure there's no slags and snails on the bricks that I've already put here. Or am I, uh, or am I trying to fight the inevitable? The inevitable? The inevitable? The inevitable? You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm wasting my time. They're crafty blighters, slugs and snails. If they want to get in, they're going to get in. Um, all I can do is just keep an eye on it, I suppose. Okay, yeah. Just use soil for now. If anyone's got any ideas, let me know, please. Thank you. Someone tell me, I'm not too sure, I spy my little eye, something beginning with begonia. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, look, something sprouting out of him. Very nice. Now, is that? I think you plant them with the indent down. But this doesn't make sense because it looks like I should plant this way. Hmm. Do you know what? I'll put it in sideways. It'll come out whichever way it wants to come out. I'll keep that. Stick that in the pot. Very nice. What was that? Put them on there. Now, actually, here's a good question. Um, my potatoes have started to, uh, my potato seeds have started to chit. Um, they're just hanging up in the bags in there. Um, only slightly though, the, 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 the roots look like they're, they're quite green, they're not white. Um, now I always get it mixed up. If you chip them in the dark, the roots go white, which isn't what you want. If you chip them in the sun, the, uh, the roots go uh, like a green, like dark green, which is what you're supposed to, what they're supposed to do. I might what, leave one in, one bag in the, um, actually, oh, that's an experiment. I can leave one bag, one half of a bag in the shed, the other half um, of my first days and second days. So basically split them half, half in there, in the shed, half out here, this will get sunlight. It'll stay dry. Good experiment. I'll do that and yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Okay. Tidy this looks. Very good. <laughs> I feel like I'm making the perfect home for slugs and snails. And hopefully any other insects that want to live here. Literally, I might. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, the glass could just live back here for now. Until I decide what to do with it. Better for it just to be out of the way.
God, I can't believe I did it. Very proud of myself. So what I'm going to do now is I'm not going to plant these in yet because I want to cut the grass, edge it nicely, and then I'll stick these in. But begonia tuber, I'm going to put in a pot and some compost. That'll be my first plant that goes in the pot. Happy days. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to, have this, I'm just going to tidy up, um, sort everything out here and then um, probably call it there for the day. Yeah, starting to lose the light now. Cool, let's get going. Now I'm just going to stick these in this pot, in this trug, fill it with compost so the roots are at least protected until I'm ready to find them a new home. It's not perfect gardening but I can only do what I can in the time that I've got. I think they're protected for now until I figure out well, not until I figure out until I clear this side and uh, plant them up Ooh. right where's my tuba stick him in a pot I really wish I knew which way these went um, it's 50 50 really isn't it I feel like compared to a normal bowl like a daffodil you think this was the bottom but I have my sneaky suspicion that this coming out the bottom, I don't know if you can see, I'll come a bit closer. I don't know if you can see this little fleshy bit here. I feel like that's a root. You see? Okay. So, I think that's not a weed that's growing out of it. I think that's actually a bit of growth. So, I'm going to plant it what looks like upside down. Let's hope I'm right. Pop. I don't think it needs to go too far into the soil. So, just gonna push her in. Bring her up. Can't see. There's the tip. Push her in a little bit. So hard doing things with gloves. It really takes out the dexterity in your fingers. Cool. Give it a little drink. Uh, I'll just leave it out somewhere. Luckily, the water uh, tank, uh, one of them, right behind my shed. Which is good. Just give her a drink. And that. It could go in the cold frame. <laughs> Job done. Um, you can live. I don't want anyone to pinch my trunk.
Oh, I forgot to show you. Look what's popped up at the ground. What's that, everybody? I've already got rhubarb, haven't I? So those two clumps that I've got can just go over here. So I'll just have to weed this area, clear it, and um, just give these guys a little bit of space. Now, obviously these have probably been in the ground for a while, um, but what do I do? Do I put pots over them now? Do I do it later? Should I just let them grow? Oh, I'm so excited. I have to, I have to look that one up. All this woody material I've got, these old canes, oh, what did I decide these were? Brussels sprouts? Yeah, they're kind of mushed up quite a bit now, so I'm just going to cut them up really finely, add them to my compost. If I had a shredder, I would use it. Oh, that'd be a blessing, but I don't. So, I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way, do it the wrong way. Might be a bit trickier. Right. Okay, if I just do it a little bit often, see, that'll be a better plan. I'm really chuffed that I found rhubarb. Now I've got somewhere to put it as well. But that, that um, stuff that I've took from the neighbour who I saw today um, and he said, uh, he said yeah if it's there help yourself people are so lovely really lovely really enjoying uh, having an allotment really I should burn this but I don't think I'm going to have time to have a fire this year so I don't know maybe I'll just uh, take a pile somewhere and um, Burn it in the winter, this year. Very woody at the bottom. <laughs> Can't cut it. <laughs> I have seen people um, with things like this where they're so hard and so fibrous. They bash them with a hammer first to loosen all the fibres um, and then it breaks down faster. Um, which I haven't got a hammer. I've got a metal wooden mat, uh, not wooden, uh, like a rubber mat, though, but this. if it doesn't compost down when I collect this eventually, then it will just go back into uh, into the compost bin. That's all I can do. Give these a wipe. If you look after your tools, they'll look after you, as the saying goes. Which I'm okay at, but could do better. I do oil them occasionally. But yeah. do nicely. Cool. All right. Let's tie these canes up and uh, head home. I don't even really know what's in this bin. Cross that bridge another day, hey? I was going to pull up the onion sets. Oh well, next time. It's not all fun and games in an allotment. There's some boring chores too that I thought I'd share with you. So I've got to go for it. You've got to go for it. Oh, this is coming home with me. I've got a little lawn outside the front of my uh, house. It's very shaded. Um, but at the moment, it's very bare. Got some moss. Um, but I picked up, uh, I think it was in the garden center, there was an RHS wildflower seed collection. Um, and it was for a shady border. So I picked it up. It might be six quid. Um, I'm not going to do the whole lawn. I've got some slightly shade tolerant grass seed mix that I'm going to 
do the whole most of the lawn with but I'm just gonna have patches of wildflower just because I think it will look nice and uh, the more flowers one can have the better oh, look at the state of that handle so yeah let's call it spring cleaning this shall we Go. All right. Okay. Well, thank you, everybody. Thanks very much. Thank you for coming along with me today. Not a very interesting one. Wow. Well, in comparison to digging out my beds for the last three episodes. Uh, but yeah, I'm slowly getting there. Uh, and hopefully, I think next week I'm gonna use got a whole tub of topsoil here I've got some seed compost I've got some sand sharp sand uh, horticultural sand so I think what we're gonna do I've got a riddle as well uh, I'm just gonna start sewing I suppose and uh, yeah I'm just gonna combine the three of them uh, mostly sand uh, but getting the topsoil in there as well for drainage uh, and um, some other seed compost and uh, mix it all together, make my own mix, bulk it out because compost is so expensive and uses up so much. Uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do next week, he says. <laughs> Bye, guys.